this is historic downtown Newberry. We start at the uh, corner of College Street, and I think this is Main. Yeah, this is Main. So standing on Main Street in Newberry, South Carolina, downtown Newberry, at the corner of College Street, this iconic building with all the window unit air conditioners in it, which I think is probably apartments. So I believe that's north and way down there you can see the, that church, I'll get the name for that church right here below. And I'm walking down Main Street here. Um, I just had lunch at this place, the Grill on Main. A good turkey sandwich, half turkey sandwich, and a side salad. Coming up on Caldwell Street, <clears throat> and at the corner there is that Figaro Market. And now the historic Abbeville Courthouse comes into view just right of center facing Caldwell Street it is now Newberry County Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center Caldwell Street is mostly brick there's a Wells Fargo Bank. Continues down. This way is brick. And most of these buildings are probably historic from the 1800s. Now I'm going to walk down behind the courthouse where there's like a shaded park where these mature trees are growing up. <clears throat> and look around that area. Alright, so I've crossed, New, I've crossed Caldwell Street. That's looking back in the direction I just came from. Continuing down Main Street beside the old courthouse. Still beside the courthouse. Coming up on, looks like, McKibben Street. Uh, over here is the Newberry Opry House. Op opera? Yeah, Opera House. Just beyond those trees with that nice steeple looking structure. Here are some of the shops. I'm going to stop here and look back up. I want to show this interesting, not just architecture really, but the the way they painted it of this uh, corner market here, this Figaro market. I like what they did with the brick and the very bright awning. The place next to it kind of has something similar going on. It says Bergen's there. It's just not as bright. The paint is fading. But I, whatever they did with the leaving those little, whatever they're called, uh, there leaving those the color of brick and painting everything else like that was, I thought that was interesting. This is my first time actually to Newberry, South Carolina. Today is Wednesday, April 27th, 2022. I'm actually on my way from Greenville to Columbia. Found myself with an extra hour. I was an hour ahead of time, so I stopped here in Newberry and got lunch. The little restaurant I ate at, we just passed it, is uh, it's called The Grill on Mains, where that gentleman is going in down there. And at the time, it's see, right at noon, on a Wednesday in Newberry, there were eight tables occupied. Some of them only had one person, including myself. Some of them as many as four, I think. If I was to guess, total patronage, 
I would say there was probably about, let's figure if there was three with three, that'd be nine. Two with two, that'd be another 13. And then about four singles, about 17 people in there. If I'm doing my math correctly. All right, I'm gonna cross over Main Street here at McKibben in the direction of the Opera House. Looking further down Main Street and up Main Street. Oh, that's interesting. I never really saw that, but now... So the, the building on the corner of Main and Caldwell, where I was literally just at, but could not really see it. I just want to show that architecture. Or the... I mean, yeah, the building with the steeple right in front. Pretty cool looking. And some of the buildings beyond it. I'm going to show that before I walk back to the back of the old courthouse. I'm right beside the old courthouse now. All right, so I looked at, uh, I, excuse me, I took a few still photos, but a little bit of video of this section. And now going down Boyce Street, here's the Wells Fargo building. Looking down Boyce Street, maybe not quite as impressive, pretty. Doesn't seem to be as much pedestrian activity on this side. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually backtracked. I'm walking away from the uh, Opera House, which you can only see the steeple of back there. I'm walking back towards the block where I just had lunch. There's a... That's the new courthouse. The old courthouse is now actually whatever I said it was. Uh, back on... College Street, I believe. Okay, coming back on Main Street from College Street. It's going to show some of the buildings. Unfortunately, I have a backwards sun view. Okay, now I'm looking down from the different from a different corner uh, of where I ate lunch, which is right there. Excuse me. That's all right. And just showing how they painted up some of these older buildings. And the uh, the building on the end, the very corner, whoops, where the steeple is, that is Newberry Art Center. Uh, let's see. I'll go back down Main on this side. I'm going around again where I was originally intending to go, to the back of... <clears throat> Newberry Courthouse, the old Newberry Courthouse, where that treed park is, the park with the trees, the large trees in it. There's a couple of monuments back there I want to look at too. Here's a close-up of this uh, Figaro Marketplace. Looks like a restaurant. Smells pretty good in there. I guess it's Italian food. The old courthouse again. Wells Fargo again. More of the buildings on Main. Well, here's a federal, I mean, here's a uh, historic plaque on the courthouse. Coming up on Park Square. I'm 
going to take uh, a little bit of video and some photos of the opera house. Opera house, correct. And then I got to go. There's some of the monuments. These are war memorials. Korea War there. Vietnam War back there. Right here in front. I'm guessing Confederate War. Yes. Confederate Monument. And it looks like uh, in the middle of the park. Probably World War One and Two. So here's the park. Very quaint. Here's the Opera House. Very nice. Pretty, pretty building. Solidly built. That's it. It's my little short tour of downtown historic Newberry. A few more still photos to follow. So one more quick video because of a sound I just heard, which is interesting, might seem inconsequential, but uh, there, I can see it, sound of trains. Okay, so that's why I'm taking this final video, last and final video, because there's still active train a railroad going through this town, very close to the downtown area, down that way. We saw part of it. All right, now that's it. Final video for sure, just showing that the rail crossed Main Street way up there.